Example 2. Determine square root of 0 0.0625 using factorization method. Okay, just like the previous example, the first step to do this is to write that in fraction format, fraction of integer numbers. And make sure that the numbers are perfect squares. So 0 0.0625, that is equal to 625 over 10,000. So as such, a square root of 0 0.0625, that is equal to square root of 625 over 10,000. And this in return is equal to square root of 625 over square root of 10,000. Okay, square root of 10,000 is easily determined. That is equal to 100. But what about square root of 625? Okay, this number is a little bit big. If you remember a square root, perfect squares up to say 30, then you'll know the answer to this. Then you'll know a square root of 625. Otherwise, the best method for us to go and find out 625 is by trial and error. So let's pick up some random number. Let's say possibly some easy numbers. For example, 20. Let's see what is 20 squared. So I'm going to use a free space over here. So what is 20 squared? 20 squared is 400. Well, 400 is less than 625. So uh, the square root of 625 must be more than uh, 20. So let's try 30 squared this time around. So 30 squared is equal to 900. So again, 30 is not really the square root of uh, 625, but is somewhere smaller. So let's pick up somewhere in the middle between 20 and 30. Well, it, it could be the right answer. It could also be a wrong answer. If we find out that the square root of uh, square of uh, 25 is more than uh, 625, then we might want to reduce that. If it's less, then we might want to pick up a number that is more than 25. So let's just pick up 25. So what is 25 squared? Okay, 25 squared is basically 25 times 25. So what is 25 times 25? So 5 times 5 is 25. 2. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2, that is 12. So now 25 times 2. 5 times 2 is uh, 20, uh, 10 uh, with 1 here. Okay, let me just uh, rub this one off. And 2 times 2 is 4, and plus 1 becomes 5, so 50. So the answer is 5, 2, 6. So we've got the answer 625. Which means that um, square root of 625, which is 25, over square root of 10,000, which is 100. So the answer that we are looking for is 0 0.25. So that is how we get the, the, the answer for a square root of 0 0.0625 using factorization method and uh, we're going to go and look at uh, example 3 and as we go along the example gets a little bit more complicated so stay tuned see you in the next video